God, the bugs are bad. We're gonna go check out a cave uh, that I've heard about. All right, John, what's the plan for today? Knit net. Uh, yeah, hold on. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go to the caves out Knit net, check it out. Hopefully we can find them. Then the Chiwat Giant, one of the biggest red cedars in the world. Ah, uh, caves are scary, but fun. Hopefully there's no jumping spiders in these caves the size of my freaking hand again. All right, so here we are. We've just arrived at the four-way, uh, the intersection to Bamfield, Coleman Creek, Nitnat, and Port Alberni. Are we there yet? Almost at Flora. Man, this road sucks. So we just stopped here uh, at the Flora main turn off. Uh, we're not headed this way, but Beautiful river here, beautiful beach down there, nice campsite, but we have bigger, better plans for today. <laughs> All right, so here we are. We're gonna have a little stop here at the Nipnat River Provincial Park. Uh, super awesome place. Wouldn't be surprised if we've seen some elk today. Uh, elk are cool. That majestic <laughs> animal they are. Check out the size of that stump. That was a good puddle. I like puddles. So that's what they call a nurse tree, uh, a tree that nurses other trees. Let's go down the river. We stopped here at the river, just wanted to check it out. We're gonna head to uh, Nitnat now and see if the store's open. We're gonna show you guys one of the biggest cedars in the world. This stump is any indication of what lies ahead. Stick around. Yeah, the sign's right there. <laughs> Just did that. The old Jeep's only burned a little bit of gas, which is weird. Order tank it. Oh, they have Wi-Fi. Sweet. Are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think. It's a sweet gas pump. Let's fill it up. I don't think they have debit. What is going on here? Fastest gas pump I've ever seen in my life. We're at the caves. Oh, Look at that. We're almost there. We're gonna see if we can get in them. Pretty sure it won't be too hard because the girl in the store there, when I said we we're going to the caves, nodded. I'm not exactly sure where this cave is. The guy said, look for a big cliff as wide as your hands, and you will find the cave. The cave's gotta be down there at the river there somewhere. In my infinite wisdom, I forgot to actually screenshot uh, the directions to get to the cave. But I do remember the guy saying, find a bridge. It's really steep and it's like 300 feet down. Get our trekking poles and hope to not die. Find the cave. I found myself in stranger situations. Uh, it looks super sketchy. I uh, do not recommend uh, this kind of stuff. <sighs> this is super sketch. Oh wait, it's another fall and die kind of trail. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's pretty steep. We're gonna check it out though. Well, hell yeah, why not? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? We're gonna have to reassess the situation here a little bit. What do we do here? I don't know, man. It's not really anywhere to go. Except down. John says he's found some oyster mushrooms down there. So he's grabbing a few. I can't see him. He's out of sight. He's turning around on his way back. Strike one. Uh, I, I went down the bank. Super treacherous, like really, really bad. Bunch of giant hogweed, all kinds of bad stuff. Uh, I couldn't find the cave. Uh, disappointing, but I've come to a conclusion that we might be at the wrong bridge. You know, look at the map here. Can't always win. Definitely at the wrong bridge, but 
I seem to recall a sign up there says looper. We're gonna try that one out. John, did you poop on the side of the trail here? Feeling pretty hopeful here. Uh, a lot of foot marks, trail kind of stuff. Pretty remote. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, that's a trail. Hell yeah, dude. Good job. We found the trail. It's a, a cave, maybe? I don't know. Let's see what happens here. Whoa. Like, we got lots of time today. It's We got out early. It's only about one o'clock. Uh, found the trail down. We're almost at the creek bed. I think this might be it. So when you woke up this morning, do you think he'd be here? <laughs> no. I thought it'd be somewhere. Not here, though. Hopefully this is a spot. Pretty cool rock. Lots of red, brick colored rock here. Um, I have something to tell you. What? I may have accidentally pissed on your trekking pole. Uh, it's now your trekking pole, buddy. Ah. Oh. Piss pull. You smell that? I smell that. It smells like a cave. Check that out. Pretty sure that's the cave. Right there. We are in the cave. Don't know if you can see me. It's dark as hell in here. Oh God, there's something in my hair. Oh, oh no, no, it's a spider. It's a spider. So we made it through the cave. I'm just super stoked right now. When do you see this view out here? I mean, it's just mind blowing. It's absolutely beautiful. It's what we do out here. Treacherous. That's super cool, there's spiders and stuff. Oh wow, we actually made it. I'm super stoked right now, I mean, this is absolutely amazing. Uh, the cave is about 200 feet long. Super slippery, super wet, lots of bugs. So I got a spider in my head earlier. It pops out here into like the most beautiful, serene river spot. I think I've ever seen in my life. This is what it's all about. Follow the channel. Oh, wait, do you hear that? What is that? What the heck is that? Do you hear that noise? What the heck? Oh my God, I think it's a Sasquatch. Sam Spanish. Sam Spanish. Sam Spanish is coming. Dude, what is that? Do you live in this cave? I don't actually live in this cave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was the most amazing thing I've ever done. My name is John from Germany. Hi, my name is Jeannie. We have a super dirty car over here. Heck yeah. And we love camping. My name is Adrian. I'm also from Germany. <laughs> nice to meet you, sir. I got wet feet again. Beep. That was so wicked, man. Like, stoked, beyond stoked. So what's actually really strange is that we met a John. So me and John are both Johns, so we're Jonathans. We met another Jonathan, so there's three Jonathans in one place. So since we've been gone to the cave, uh, spelt a spider, a spider has developed uh, a cave here. Okay, so anyways, like I was saying, there's a spider that moved into the Jeep since we've been here. It's made himself a little home. Spiders are roommates. They move in, that's what they think. They're like, man, I like these guys. I'm gonna move in with them. I'm gonna keep the bugs away for you because, you know, I'm gonna make my house here. But I mean, we found the best campsite. All right, it's decided we're gonna just camp here for the night. I wish I brought a kite. 
should have brought a kite. Hike is over, beer time. All right, so we're at camp here, no more driving. Uh, we're gonna have a cold beer, Vancouver Island, Lucky, Budweiser, whatever you want. <laughs> Cheers, brother. Cheers, bro. To an awesome day, finding caves. One of the best. Wait till tomorrow, we will show you the big tree. You don't want to stick around for that. So super awesome day today, uh, we just set up camp. This lake is actually like one of the world's best known windsurfing lakes. It's actually a tidal lake. It's so, well, you find a crab? You find a crab? So we're at a lake that has crabs, which is rather unusual. I think it's pretty sweet. Barnacles on a rock at a lake. Gonna rip and fire tonight. No fire ban yet. Enjoy it while you can. This is a lake. There's clam shells all everywhere. It's a tidal lake. It's like a half ocean, okay? Yeah. It's a half ocean. 50-50. <laughs> half ocean. Ooh, what's going on here? It totally does not belong here. It came from the moon. It's a moon rock. It's where the ocean meets the lake. We have got fire! All right, so uh, the weather has taken a change for the worst. It's uh, raining and winding and whatever it's doing out here. <laughs> The weather is moving in fast. I mean, it's coming hot and heavy here. You can see it. That is a rainstorm. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Corn of the Cob. I've been crabbing these waters for 42 long hard years. <laughs> I know these waters like the back of my hand. We are just currently descending down to uh, Chiwat Lake, uh, where the giant tree is, the Chiwat Giant, as it's known. Uh, one of the largest, oldest living organisms on planet Earth. It's piss and rain. Uh, we're both tired. It's been a long trip. Well, at least the trees here are providing a little bit of shelter from the rain. I mean, it's just pouring. So uh, behind us here, we have a, an old windfall. I mean, the thing is just massive. That's a big cedar. Valley of the Giants. So this is probably gonna piss a couple of people off. Uh, Port Renfrew claims to have the world's most gnarly tree. 
Uh, this tree hands down absolutely destroys that record. Uh, this is the gnarliest tree I've ever seen in my life. I guess we do live in a rainforest, it makes sense. Found a dry spot here underneath this giant cedar. Oh, it's wet. I mean, I'm just soaked. We're both soaked head to toe. Just approaching the uh, Chiwat giant now. I can see it in the distance. Uh, it's absolutely massive. Oh, wow. There she be in all her beauty.